and action. Welcome to YouTube Celebrity Gossip News with me and Tommy. How's it going, Tommy? It's going great. It's a uh, new year, a uh, new day, and uh, we still got a lot of snow here. Right, and 2021, uh, new year, new positive vibes, new things going on with me and Tommy. So, uh, we got some YouTube celebrity gossip news, so let's go to work and here we go. Chris and Tommy. Hey, this is Tommy Dreamer, and you're watching Top Level Media. Hi, I'm Rhino, and this is Top Level Media. Welcome back, everyone. So, Tommy, what's going on? What kind of news do you have for us this week? Uh, what's going on this week? What our neighbors to the north were doing last year in 2021 on YouTube wise. Stuff they were into, uh, some people that blew up because of the pandemic happening and they had to change their uh, way of doing videos and stuff. Well, there's a YouTuber called Maddie Fit. She is a Canadian YouTuber that does uh, fitness videos. Uh, she really blew up in Canada, becoming uh, over five million subscribers now from roughly about one million a year ago. Uh, so basically with her videos, um, made her popular this year, she adjusted her videos to um, workouts for people who work in apartments, condos, uh, smaller places, because a lot of people had to work from home due to the pandemic. And basically using just everyday objects that people have in workouts. And also workouts that are a lot really quiet, so you, because especially if you live on a floor that's above to someone, or you have someone next to you, that way you don't disturb um, your kid if you have a kid that's taking a nap, or you disturb your neighbors. So basically, she did workouts that were appropriate for apartments, small spaces, and you wouldn't disturb your neighbors. There's that. Uh, Drake um, was out there doing a lot of cool videos this year, so a lot of Canadians were watching him. He's a rapper from Canada. Last Tech also uh, made some waves this year, tech re uh, reviews, uh, with a lot of uh, big videos, uh, over 12 million subscribers. Also, uh, some videos that made some uh, big waves in Canada was Mark uh, Robers, who's a former NASA engineer. His uh, Olympic-style obstacle course for squirrels, which he had squirrels running around trying to get to uh, the bird feeder, uh, which he got the idea from uh, squirrels figuring out how to get to the uh, bird feeder, even though that they were supposedly uh, uh, squirrel proof. Well, uh, workouts, very cool. On a lockdown like that, so with the pandemic going on, a lot of YouTubers and a lot of artists and uh, music singers um, are staying positive and doing what they can to do something new and that's pretty awesome. Um, another thing about this is Canadians, uh, just like everywhere else, man, we're looking for a way to uh, keep their uh, humor, you know, up, keep finding a way to laugh even in tough times. Uh, and one of those things was uh, Prime Minister of Canada. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, his, um, some did a remix to a lot of his uh, speeches where he's talking about uh, how people could stay safe and everything. And one of the things that became a pretty running joke was when he says, um, like moist, uh, became very hilariously, and Canadians uh, were finding that very hilarious. Uh, some people found it offensive, but some people took that and turned it into an auto-tune uh, remix video. Well, that's that's really awesome remix video and awesome. Uh, remixes are pretty cool. I dig the remixes a lot out there. And uh, um, if you guys have seen it, if our subscribers have seen it, um, why don't you tell us what you think of the remix out there and what your vibes are around that remix as well, right, Tommy? Yes. So um, what you could do is check out Tommy's story down on the section down below in the information. The link will take you there so you can read a lot more. And not only that, um, you know, check out this one-of-a-kind story as well. So 
Uh, moving on, Tom, we have, well, we have two senators that their houses have been vandalized. And um, the first house is Nancy Pelosi. She's in California. Her house is in uh, California to where basically um, they left graffiti on um, her house and it says more stimulus now and give us our stimulus and not only that um, there was a real pig's head that was really there on her um, driveway so um, basically the same thing happened to Mitch McConnell but there was no pig's head but overall they did graffiti to his house over in Louisville Kentucky so um, overall people are really upset with Mitch McConnell not passing the two thousand dollar stimulus and because Americans need it now and people are really upset with uh, Nancy Pelosi as well during the election with Biden uh, versus uh, President Trump well basically Nancy Pelosi admitted to going on and being like, I'm not going to pass a $2,000 stimulus just because, um, you know, it will give credit to Donald Trump overall. And basically, she passed up a over a uh, $9 billion uh, deal. Uh, well, first of all, um, no matter how mad you get at somebody, you should not vandalize uh, anyone's personal property uh, or, or doing public property, no matter how mad you get at somebody, there are ways that you can go about it. You can send them a letter saying, hey, I, don't, I, I would appreciate it if you had done A, B, C, and D, uh, but go into somebody's house and uh, take a can of spray paint and spraying stuff on it, putting an uh, animal's head um, it's just not the way to go about it. I agree with you. It's way too far. And um, no matter how everybody's been through because of uh, the pandemic, not getting stimulus checks other than just a $600 one and then one back from eight months ago, I, it just doesn't cut. I get it. I'm also not financially doing so well right now either, but I'm not going around and spray painting uh, the mayor's house where I live or going to my senator's house and spraying uh, it's, and spray painting it uh, because like I said, A, it really doesn't get anything done. It all it does is uh, you get arrested and it doesn't help the conversation and it just takes away from uh, what really needs to be talked about you're rerouting the conversation to, to now people are focused on, oh, someone's house got vandalized. Oh, it's this person. And then there's like people like, oh, I wish I could, I wish I could have done that. I wish I could have done that. And it really then takes the whole conversation of where it needs to be about the stimulus money ver and is taking it away from that. Exactly. I agree with you, Tommy, just because, I mean, it doesn't mean that we're going over to the White House because, you know, Donald Trump has done things that we don't agree with, right? So are we going over to the White House and just vandalizing that? No, we're not. So, Tommy, I don't agree with what they did to Mitch and Nancy's houses. That's going a little too far. Um, there's a reason why Mitch is not passing it. We don't know why the answer is, but, you know, it can be due to corruption. But we won't go into that discussion now, will we, right now? So no. <laughs> you could check out my story down on the section down below of what's going on and not only that um you could check out both of our stories uh what are your thoughts about uh mitch and nancy's house getting uh vandalized and um how would you handle this situation what are your thoughts about this so leave a comment down on the section down below be careful of what you do people because it can create a domino effect and this might happen to other senators houses but with that all said and done, you, you can subscribe to both of our channels. And after you subscribe, ring that notification bell. It'll let you know when we post new videos. If you're already subscribed, ring that notification bell. Like this video, it gets us up in the algorithm. Right, exactly. So take care, everyone. Um, we will see you in a few days. I will be in Portland. Tommy will be live in the studio, right, Tommy? Yep.
This has been a top level media. Stay safe out there. All right, bye for now, everyone. Bye. Bye.